this is not a regular drone. It can fight back against powerful wind gusts and tornadoes using machine learning, AI and complex algorithms. We're here in, at Caltech where we're testing our drone in different wind conditions. Right now our wind simulator is running up to 50% speed, right, that's 13 miles an hour, and we're using smoke to visualize the airflow. Researchers at the California Institute of Technology have built a drone that can intelligently predict how to react to winds in real time using a deep learning method called Neural Fly. The five pound drone can also recalculate weather conditions around it five times per second and adapt its path accordingly. During a demonstration, the drone was put up against a custom-made simulator that uses 1,200 fans to create almost gale-force winds. It managed to stay upright with little effort and performed a figure of eight movements between tight obstacles without veering off course. Researchers say the technology could revolutionize everything from air travel to medical rescues. Guyana Shi is a co-first author and researcher at Caltech. In the future, if we have like 3D flying car, flying the air, right, it's very important to have precise control because you want to make sure the flying car can track the trajectory very accurately. Because in our long-term mission, is we want to generalize this technique to not only quadrators, to flying cars, to any area robots, such that they can like accurately, safely, like do complicated tasks. Soon Jo Chung is a professor of aerospace and control and dynamical systems at Caltech. He showed off another drone, which looks more like a plane, but runs on the same software. So this is called the Autonomous Flying Ambulance. And thanks to our Neural Fly AI-based control method, basically we can send this flying ambulance to um, medivac the uh, injured passengers from the traffic accident. But we can make sure that this drone, Autonomous Flying Ambulance, can land any uh, uh, under any weather conditions because of our neural flight method. The technology is still in development, but the team say they are about halfway to their final goal. Soon Jo Chung said it could even be in practical use within a year.